Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Mickey and Brosy D. Hey, look at this. You ever heard of this obscure game? It's called Super Smash Brother. It flew under the radar. But it seems there are many brothers and sisters as well, so it's a bit of a misnomer. It's one of Nintendo's hidden treasures. So, you guys probably know this game. It's Super Smash Brothers, and we're gonna do what we call, uh, what do we call it? Amiibo we fighting? We don't really call it anything. We, we just fight Amiibos fight and train them. Yeah, so uh, I'm a big Amiibo collector. Yeah. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you've, you've got you've, all the goddamn Smash Amiibo. I have every Smash Amiibo out. Um, I, I don't even, they just just announced like the new three, or that they're, or no, there's the like copyright or whatever just yeah. like was announced that they are being published. And anyway, I have every amiibo out. And so what Alex and I, back when you first came here actually to Michigan, yeah, um, we used to play Smash all the time. We used to play Smash. You used to come over to play Smash, and we used to just uh, level up my amiibos to fifty. And it became kind of like this weird tradition and like almost like a, <laughs> like it's like the, a game in itself. Like yeah, because when because whenever um. Whenever we level, we max out an amiibo, we call it like ascending to, uh... Hell. Valhalla? Or, or Valhalla. No, okay, so we, we, <laughs> okay, we built up a whole continuity yeah. with these amiibo. Yeah. He had a higher shelf that was slightly taller right. So than I don't the shelf I don't display on. the amiibo unless they're level 50. Right. And so all the amiibos, they are conscious, by the way. Yeah. They, uh, they aspire to ascend to this shelf because it is, like, the next level. Right. But one amiibo... Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic knows He's like, better. You, you fools. There's nothing <laughs> there. there. It's oblivion. An there goes another victim. Fools. You, you think you're going to heaven? Opposite. So, More like the abyss. So one by one, as our amiibos reach level 50 and ascend to Valhalla, uh, Sonic smirks condescendingly at their fate. Right. And uh, we put them on the high shelf where they suffer for all eternity. And back, back in my old apartment... The amiibos, I used to have them all on my coffee table. Yeah. So there was just like a ton of them. But then little by little, as they leveled up to 50, they started to disappear and disappear. And Sonic would just be like, you fools. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, so it turns out we have a bunch left. Yeah, we never got like, through them all. There are seven left, so including Sonic. And yes. so we're just going to start, we're going to level them up. We're going to show, we're just going to... Yeah, uh, so these are, all, these are all little baby amiibos, right? Like, uh, these guys are no, all... No, some of them might be higher than you think. Uh, so oh. So pick two at random. Is Olimar going to surprise? Me. You want to pick Olimar? Yeah, let's do Olimar. All right, take Olimar. Start off with good old Ollie, and, uh... So Olimar is... And... Is, it, is your... Is your... There he is. Oh, he's ready. Holy shit, he's, he's like ready to he's go. He's ripe. He's Damn. ready for the picking. Okay, and who's his partner? Um, um, who does he love more, met, best of all? His best friend is Lucario, of obviously. Of course. So. In, uh... Yeah. That's canon, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so Lucario's okay, not, not he's, too shabby he's, either. He's deep. So, um... We have not played in forever. Oh my god, it's been probably a year for me. Uh, I, like, not, I, I used to play all the time. Yeah, I have not played um, in a very long time. Jeez. But so, these are our preferred characters. Oh and yeah. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's. Uh, oh my god, I'm so rusty. People. All right, no, that's fine. Yeah, Listen. it's fine. So you guys are like real good at Smash, and yeah. you're if you're real good at Smash, you're gonna like you can I, like it, smirk and yeah, roll your eyes. And I don't whatever. claim to be particularly like amazing. At I'm Smash. a master. Yeah, uh, you're so Check good. Check this out, Flutter. Especially kick. against like a level 48 um, uh, Olimar. Yeah, Olimar might fucking destroy us. Right. So, so it's okay, guys. Oh jeez. Listen, that's part of the challenge. It's oh part my of, it's god, part of the... it's been so long. I know, right? So like, um, oh shit. So part of the. Uh, appeal of amiibo fighting is that they start oh. out, well, in this case, not so, but in, they usually start out very weak, and then they start to learn, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they're, like, pitiful at the beginning. Right. Um, although they can surprise you by being, like, early bloomers. Right, right. And so it's fun to see how they sort of shit, how they sort of grow. How they shit? How they shit. How they, I want to see... Yeah, well, maybe in the next Smash. Fuck me. Well, as, yeah. Oh, I thought I was dead. No, no I'm, I'm dead. dead. You're dead. Okay. Yeah. But they're almost dead, so... Alright. <laughs> now, it's, uh, harder, actually, oh, than I anticipated to smash while, uh, Let's Playing at yeah, the same time. Yeah, I've, I've never, uh, I've usually... never done this in a commentary <laughs> right, I know, you right? You concentrate so <laughs> like, hard. Especially, because we started out against a level, like, level fucking 49. Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be more talky, I guess, when it's not fucking hard. Right. Because these guys are pretty hard, and they're, like, kind of handing us our asses right now. Yeah. Uh, the level ones, it'll be fun. We'll have some super funny jokes and stuff, because they'll be, like, dicking around. Well, I'm also looking forward to just doing some more, a more yeah. chill, uh, podcasty type episodes. Yeah, yeah. Not uh, everything needs to be a, a laugh. We'll have to do some, like, straight-up duels, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. 
Uh, Although I'm so rusty. I'm way better. <laughs> Are you way better? Why? I win every match. Wow. You've never beaten me. I have. Come here. Okay. Come here, Olimar, okay. you little spaceman. Little spachemin. <laughs> you little spaceman. Okay. Shit. Now... Oh, you ever, God. Go, you ever go back to, like, Melee after playing Smash 4? Um, I haven't... Cause it's... I, I actually played it at a tournament, like... Oh, Melee? Uh, yeah, after... Well, I think Smash 4 was just 3DS at that point. Oh, okay, um, okay. But that, that was still a while back. I haven't played Melee in a long time. Yeah. Um, have you? As, mm, in, like... as an adult, oh. yeah. But oh, yeah, it... as an adult. Oh, wait, what did you say? I mean, like, since Smash 4. Uh, yeah, I did, like, a little bit. Yeah. And it was really weird. Yeah. Because even Dr. Mario plays differently in melee compared because in uh yeah. in melee in melee his um his side aerial is a is like more consistent oh damn in, in this one it's like oh shit in this one it depends on like where exactly it hits on the character or whatever. yeah yeah fucking lucario piece yeah they of shit. they changed luigi to like a completely different character oh yeah um in this one so but yoshi is like the close i played luigi um by the way if you didn't discern that um, but Yoshi for, for, is like for the good or for the better in for um, Smash. He's different. He's like just a totally different character. Okay. Um, but Yoshi plays very similarly to how Luigi used to. Like he's just very floaty, floaty, and he has like crazy aerial shit. Yeah. Um, and that's the shit I like. So I like knocking someone in the air and just like following them. Yeah. Um, yeah, but God, we used to play a ton of melee too when we had like uh, oh yeah friends visit and everything. That's right. Yeah, that shit Four got player in. Smash is really fun. Oh, yeah. Especially if, um... Well, not even if they're not everyone... Oh, shit! I didn't even see all of them are there! Doesn't matter if everyone's Sneaky not equal, but, uh... Bitch. If you get, like, four pretty, you know, like, people who know how to play together... Yeah, yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, there was one night, like, several years ago. It was one of our trips with all our online buds, and, like, we just... We were up to, like, two o'clock or something, just, like, oh, yeah. round after round. Well, what was fun was because, like, um... So we have friends who play different ways. Uh, I'm... How would you describe my play? Um, you are very aggressive. Yeah, I'm pretty aggressive. Um, uh, you're a very good floaty good. and like, like you like. Uh, I played Zelda for a while. That's too. right. You played Zelda um, for a while. She's pretty similar. She's got like a lot of tricky floaty shit. Right. I'm all love. You're very straightforward. Like I'm gonna go and punch you in the face. Right. Right. And then uh, we have a friend, uh, Mute, who we've mentioned a couple times. Yeah. Um, and he he plays he's Ness, Ness, and primarily. he plays a tricky, dicky. Oh Ness. god, he is so fucking hard to get your hands on. He's really he's like the. It's like the best, like I mean, not the best in the world. But I mean, like in terms, he I, is I never the best Ness. I never see people in the play world. Ness. Yeah. Really, and so it's fun because he loves PK Thunder. Yeah. And he's like fucking. He uh, always gets that perfect like way of keeping you in the air. Yeah. And, like no matter which direction you go, he like follows you with it. Right. And you can't get down, and it's oh, humiliating. L. Oh my god, that was you. Uh, okay. Yes, that was me. Bye. Oh, is that you, like, dying up there? Yeah. Ew. Not very good. Hold on, doing better kind than of you. embarrassing. Doing better than you, homie. The whole internet is watching and judging right now, yeah. so... It does not um, matter I have not even all. used, like, my tongue attack. You know, I used to be, um... I think it was better with Dr. Mario in Melee, but I played yeah. differently in Smash anyway. Um... And, you know, Dr. Mario, I don't, I don't know how he compares to Mario at this point. I think he might even be worse, but um, I don't... I don't know where, because they've patched it several times, That's too. true. So, like, as far as, like, the... But I've never cared about, like, the tier. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's never been my kind of thing. Um, where... Oh. oh, I thought I was... Okay, there. so, here we go. <laughs> oh, I was... I totally, like, lost track of where I was. You um, know if I can get Lucario... Yeah, Lucario's actually almost donezo. Right, um, maybe... Olimar might not be... Well, he's level 50 now, though, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck. Uh, just get just get the blue dude out of there. Right. Come on. Although he's got that like Lucario power built up. Yeah, he's got that aura. Of the yeah. Aura. That, uh. You know he's voiced by um Sean Shemmel. Who's Sean Shemmel? Uh, Goku. Oh really? Yeah. Oh he shit. Would, I would never. I yeah, would it's never a very it. different uh, character. Yeah. Because Lucario is kind of a deeper shit. I guess Lucario is kind of like the Pokemon Goku. Okay. All well, right. uh, you got a life left, so. I got one life left. We're not left. done. We're fine. You got one life to live. That's like a soap opera, right? 
or a sitcom yeah. or something. Although at my first thought was like it's a James Bond movie, but that's I think um, a different movie. Is that is there a James Bond called One Life? No, no, no. <laughs> it's like some. Okay, bye, bye. Oh yeah, it's only it's like you only die once or something. Sorry, you only live twice. You only. <laughs> I, I don't What's in the comments what that fucking. I don't know. Called. You know, I yeah. used to love James Bond movies as a kid. Yeah, I love James Bond General Hospital. That was my favorite movie. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, so. Olimar, Olimar just, has ascended. Olimar just ascended. He has bested us. All right, we're giving a gimme. Uh, yeah, we don't have the shelf, but he'll get there. <laughs> uh, it, it just imagine me holding him up very majestically. I'll, I'll, I'll find an image of the Olimar amiibo and uh, lift him up to heaven. Yeah, please do. And all the way up to heaven. You fool. Oh boy. Please, please, go up please, to get, please get a Sonic ready. Oh, wait. You fool. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta save him onto the uh, amiibo. Oh, thing. that's right. That's yeah. right. Okay. Uh, I think I have to exit. I have, to, I have to exit. Wait, so you have really? to, yeah, you have to save both of them. Oh, okay. I've never actually done this. You always do. Yeah, you just hold it on the pad. Yeah. Amiibo. And then do, do I that. get all my shit from it? No, I gotta get that shit. Oh. I'm gonna take it home. Oh, that's right. Okay. Please remove the amiibo from the pad. So Olimar is fifth. Is what? Fifty. And then do 50. you gotta do Lucario too? Uh, well, Lucario's not ready yet. But you have to. We got. You have to do oh, it really? to get out of the screen. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. You gotta do it. You gotta save him. Okay. My Your amiibo, amiibo has been <laughs> saved. That's what you think. More like the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> More like it's sent to damnation. That's what they tell you. You stand in place forever. Dust covering you. It's horrible. How does Sonic know? I don't know. Like, who told him? <laughs> okay, Sonic Lucario. is just more aware. Lucario's right. back in the mix. Now, who's, who's gonna join Lucario? Um, who does Lucario hate? Who's this sworn oh, Lucario. We only have, like, four options. He hates Lucas. <laughs> he just wants to <laughs> kill that fucking kid. Oh, God. Okay, Lucas is in the mix, and he's... He's a little he's baby little. 10. All right, he's a little he's baby 10. He's got a 10. little bit. All right, um, so we'll, we'll give him a shot. Yeah. Lucario's got to put up with this uh, small child. Now, when we do, here's here's <coughs> why I'm choosing Final Destination, uh, and this is just like a weird tradition we have. If we're fighting them for realsies, yeah. we do Final Destination, and when we're just leveling them up, we do random stages and items. Yeah, although the Omega stages are pretty. Uh, oh, that's true. We should. That's we, more I, variety, I always forget actually. about those. Yeah, yeah, because in uh, melee we always did like. Yeah, final. Um, sometimes, uh, what was the other one? Battlefield. Battlefield, yeah. Yeah. Because that one's also pretty like standard. Yeah. Um, I know in like tournaments and shit, they actually allow like a pretty wide yeah, variety I've seen of that, stages. Yeah. Um, I haven't been like really into like the Smash tournament scene for a while, but I used to kind of pay attention. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I know that dude Zero like fucking destroyed everybody. Which in Smash Four? Who, who does he play? Um, he played Sheik mainly, like was his best, but he also played Diddy Kong. Okay. Um, even when Diddy Kong like. Cause he used to be like really overpowered cause he could like grab you and like smack you and then do a headbutt and it was like this ridiculous combo that was really easy to do. Yeah. Um, but even after that he still played Diddy and still like destroyed people. Um, so yeah dude's just fucking good at Smash. Yeah. Like for a while he did like 50 or something tournaments without losing once. Oh shit. Yeah. So this is melee. Um, so what? No this is 4. Oh this is 4, okay. Yeah. Um, there's a whole, actually there's a whole documentary about like how the melee scene grew and how it became a competitive community. Yeah, I know you've mentioned that. Yeah, it's times. really good. Um, um, I think it's King of Smash or something. Okay, is that yeah. on like, YouTube or something? Yeah, I think so. I think that's where I watched it. Is that only on YouTube or? Um, I don't know, it might be available like, somewhere else. I don't somewhere know. Somewhere else. But I think it was released on YouTube. Um, but that's just pretty cool. It's very interesting because this, because Smash was always like a party game, right? Like you never would have even thought of it as like, I mean, I guess competitive. Yeah. yeah, I guess you can have matches like this that are like serious matches, but I don't know. It took a while for people to consider it as like something you would have tournaments for. Right. Yeah, Smash is good shit. Oh fuck, fucking Lucas! I'm gonna Lucas, kill that kid. <laughs> But I killed that fucking kid. Oh my god, what is happening to me? Okay. So we had an in joke, or have an in joke, I guess. Yeah. Not, not like it's done. But uh, and is it because Anne Marie hadn't seen Home Alone? Is that why? Um, or because we were just like it's just because of Ness. It, 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 it like reminded us of Home Alone or something. Yeah. I forget. Um, I don't know if we were talking we, about Home Alone. We were talking first. about trying to kill Ness. Yeah. Because it's this child. Oh, because we were playing against. And then Mute. we compared it to uh, the Home Alone. The Home Alone band's like, I gotta kill that kid. Check and see that fucking kid's Dude, that dead that fucking yet. kid's dead yet. <laughs> we actually watched Home Alone uh, not too long ago. Yeah, we watched actually uh, the first two Home Alones. That's right, because um, uh, Anne Marie has never had never seen Home Alone. Yeah. So um, we watched. When did we watch the first one? Was that that was a Christmas? while before that? I think 
was it might wait did we watch two for new year we watched or? home alone two for new years yeah of course but home alone was uh, that, I I think, before that it might have been like i thought it was around christmas we might have just been hanging out oh really like she okay maybe we're talking about her not seeing it i don't think it was that long before that no though. no it wasn't that long it so, was like sometime during the holiday. i think it was no it was i think it was right before you left for christmas oh okay because we were like we want to do something christmasy yeah we got yeah. like didn't we get like cookies and shit yeah yeah we did probably. yeah that's right and uh ah, friendships uh oh Cookies roasting <laughs> no, by an open no. fire. You're going to ruin them. Charring what are you doing? Fucking ash. Oh man. That'd anyway, um, speaking of Home Alone, um, that movie is fucking. Those are still fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, they're really good. Um, um, I don't know if the second one's really good. I mean, it's but they're, still, it's they're fun. funny fucking movies, and uh, the traps hold up completely. Yeah, yeah. They are so brutal. That's all anyone remembers from those. I mean, that's what... I mean, they're funny bits. Yeah. But, uh, like, he fucking, in the second one, he, like, like, electrocutes one of them. Yeah. He, like, throws just bricks at Like, the heads. first one's pretty wacky, like, Tom and Jerry antics, but the second one, like, Kevin's out for he's blood. Out for their he fucking, wants to fucking he's, kill he's these there guys. there to kill them. Yeah. Joe, like... He throws like seven bricks <laughs> like, at, uh, one, at the one dude's head. At Marv's head. Yeah. yeah. Um, from like two stories. Right. Like he he would be dead. Absolutely. Oh, I, I mean the ex the electrocution scene alone, he should be dead. But um, if you oh. haven't if you haven't seen those or if you've never seen them, yeah, they're quite at least watch the first the one because they're just funny. They're funny. Charming movies. Those, that was filled with blood, bloodlust. The first time alone was a movie that like I saw when I was really, really young. Yeah. So a lot of the like just raw imagery and like the just what's going on on screen was always fascinating to me. And it's weird like seeing it as an adult and yeah. like comprehending it. Right. Because it's just like oh I remember those blue vans were so pretty, but like they're just airport vans. They're uh, not even like an important thing. Yeah, I found with the second one. I mentioned this when we were watching it. But I've seen that one so... I think I've seen that one more than the first one because it had better traps, honestly. Yeah. Um, but I remember the audio, like, the lines verbatim. Even the most, like, uh, least important lines in it. Yeah. Like the commercial and the hotel where he's recording it with the, with the Walkman or whatever. Yeah. Or not the Walkman, but you know what I mean. The little... Um, whatever you call it. Walk boy, the, talk boy. The four iPods. Yeah. Um, I just... That movie in particular, I remember Diarty, almost, almost exactly... Uh, the like all the lines and shit. Like I could almost recite that movie. Okay, I'm gonna get a good spike. Oh, yeah, oh, boy. oh, baby! Wait, what a way to fucking end an episode, dude. Yeah, nice. God, finally got that spike. Just I love ending an episode with just destroying oh, Lucario. Feels good. Uh, maybe on the next episode we'll. Uh, oh, Lucario's not there yet. So He's we'll, getting there. We'll smack him around a little more. Okay, I'm looking um, forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to pounding it's, that. It's always a good day. That blue ass. Okay, that can be taken in a different context. Uh, take it both ways. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> your opinion your opinions on Lucario are complicated. Oh uh, yeah, we have a complicated relationship. <laughs> I wanna kill him, but he's so sexy. Yeah. Those those spikes on his paw, man, right. just ooh.